Hey Tech Talk viewers, this is the Chan Clan, and we are reviewing the new Samsung JetBot Plus, actually AI Plus vacuum cleaner. This is the second iteration of the Samsung uh, robot vacuum series, and boy is it a big upgrade, and kind of a hefty upgrade too. Um, this upgrade features a brand new charging station with automated uh, clean-out bucket. Uh, it basically is a built-in vacuum that allows this to dock. You'll see at the top here, we can push this, close the top cover and the it talks station. to us. And uh, this has a vacuum bag that basically empties out the robot to allow it to autonomously dump its contents, contents to, which is a brand new feature of, of this uh, model. And it likes to talk to us too. Um, but as such, uh, this guy here uh, comes back to the station and docks and dumps its contents, uh, but otherwise has a whole bunch of new features. Overall, there's only basically three commands here, but there's a new app uh, that's built for this guy that allows him, um, kind of personifying him already, uh, per <laughs> allows it to scan its environment and learn its uh, surroundings. Now, what's cool about this new robot is that it incorporates AI technology. Now, AI technology, uh, I think this is like the first vacuum robot to use uh, Intel's uh, AI, and it's supposedly able to recognize a whole myriad of uh, objects. Now, whether or not that's really important remains to be determined, but it does have a front-facing camera here that allows you actually to stream uh, its view uh, so that it can be used as home security as well. I think that's a little bit of a stretch. First and foremost, this is a robot vacuum. Let's take a look at the underside, the undercarriage of the vacuum. It's probably gonna get mad at me for lifting it up. It does like to talk to me. I'm gonna flip it over here. Yeah, it doesn't like that. Well, you can see the rollers over here. Um, despite looking like it has tank treads, uh, it actually just has wheels, but these wheels are hard rubber and, and also um, it does uh, seem to have a good grip here. Now, what's new, and, and there's like a 360 pivoting uh, wheel over here as well. Uh, the brushes here are soft. Uh, what's interesting about this is that it builds in a LiDAR scanner. You heard that right, LiDAR. So basically a laser radar system. Now the laser radar system allows this guy to basically wander around and map out its surroundings in real time using lasers. Like we're talking about Tesla cars uh, or autonomous vehicles. And it actually has a pretty cool uh, 3D model that you can actually see um, as it starts monitoring its surroundings. So what we'll actually do is, uh, now that you have a overview of what the JetBot AI Plus looks like, uh, we'll actually um, start recording our usage using the app and see how it navigates around the house. And we can even put it in a little robot battle with our previous Samsung uh, PowerBot uh, robot vacuum as well. So we'll switch gears. So I went ahead and just started to clean by pressing the play button. And you can see that the LiDAR sensor kind of popped up and it is roving around now. You can hear, let's see if it picks up some of this dental floss that I just threw on the ground. You can hear how loud it is. It is not as loud, it seems, as the previous one. I'm gonna throw a nail clipper out in its way. Let's see if it runs over that. No. Yes, maybe. It, I think tried to avoid it. It did avoid it. But you know what? It didn't pick up the floss. <laughs> Let's try taking that floss and putting it ahead of it again and making it run into the nail clipper again over here. sees the nail clipper and is avoiding it. Interesting. All right, we have some obstacles in the way here. I'm in the way. Let's see where, where it ends up going. Looks like it did pick up the floss on the second pass here. 
Let's get a Baby Yoda. Get a Rubik's Cube. Maybe a Baby Yoda that will appear. Oh, Baby Yoda lands in its way. And it's pushing Baby Yoda around. Let's see how it manages stairs. It's just going to run away from stairs. Edge cleaning. All right, I got a Rubik's Cube. Put a Rubik's Cube over here. Just gonna knock over these boxes. No, it's navigating. Still navigating. All right, it's vacuuming. It's doing its own thing. Let's see if I walk in its way. If it'll pause, it will. I'm gonna grab that Rubik's Cube, put it back in its path here. Let's see what it does. Sees the Rubik's Cube. It's going to avoid that. Smart. All right, what's it gonna do again with the Rubik's Cube? It's gonna run away from it. Avoided the blanket on the ground here. All right, let's pause it. I'm gonna send it toward the stairs here. Let's see what it does. Resuming cleaning. All right, go for it. All right, robot scanning its surroundings. All right, tight corner here, stairs. Let's see how it approaches stairs. Knows there's a drop off. Knows there's a wall there. Stairs right to the edge. Following that edge, realizes that there's an edge there. Tight spot, but it does navigate off the stairs. See if it can get itself out of this area. It's gonna have to back up. Yep. It's 
it's in trouble. Ah, look at that. It knew that it fell off the edge and it couldn't position its way back again. Let's try that again. And we had to help it from falling off the stairs here. Oh, yeah, you don't want to do that, buddy. You're going to fall off the edge. Don't go off the edge there. Don't fall backwards. And it finally navigated away from the stairs. Let's see if it goes back again. No, it gave up on the stairs. It's going after the Rubik's Cube again. It's going somewhere else. All right, that was a good demonstration of how this guy handles stairs. Uh, a little intervention needed, but at least it won't just go rocketing off the top step. Okay, well here's our old Samsung PowerBot. And the old Samsung PowerBot, when compared to the new one, is a lot louder. You can hear right away that it is louder. Let's see how these two tango. crashing in into each other. Yeah, I don't know if this guy really likes the other guy. They don't play nicely with each other. Meanwhile, the power bot over here is meandering around. Uh, our other robot back is uh, struggling. Oh, look at that. It recognized it as some injured animal running away from it. It's like a robot wars. All right, so our old robot is having some hard times. Meanwhile, the new PowerBot AI seems to be managing magnificently. Let's see how it does with that pile of clothes. It's going back and forth. Avoiding an obstacle. Ran into some weights underneath the couch there. And there's some clothes on the ground. So let's see how it maneuvers around the clothes on the ground. Okay, kind of a wide berth around that. Smart enough to go around the clothes instead of ramming into it. And smart enough to pick up where it left off in its lines across the den here. Meanwhile, I'm really not sure what our old power bot is doing. It's, uh, it's, it's really having a hard time here. We did review this guy a couple years ago. You can check out our old, uh, review. So it does look like, you know, again, I'm not trying to stage this. This is kind of an end user demonstration, but it does look like a couple years later, Samsung's made leaps and strides in its AI and robotic sensing technology, whereas uh, it was a miracle that this guy in the past here even cleaned our rugs, I guess, or our uh, carpet. And this is why 
But this old guy probably took a pretty good beating. As you'll notice, I'll paint around the rear end of its power bot as it scraped around a lot of stuff. Whereas this AI jet bot um, does seem to have a lot more finesse. Let's see how it navigates these trickier areas around the piano. Meanwhile, this guy is really just having troubles. All right, let's throw it a one more curveball. We get the remote control. These guys are all over the place usually. And the old PowerBot just went right under the Peloton there. Let's see if this one actually avoids it. And I think it's recognized that this area has been cleaned. Is it going to detect a difference there? It's gonna go to that carpet area. Just gonna find an edge. Yeah, detects it. That's a little different, maybe. Shoes. Back it up. What obstacle? All right, what are we gonna do when you see a remote control? Oh, snap. You're gonna run it over? It's trying to run away from that remote. It's gonna go hide under the couch. <laughs> really is hiding under the couch. Meanwhile, uh, this guy kinda Try to make it back to its mothership and I think it died. Probably ran out of batteries or sensed that it was getting low, so it was trying to get back to the base station. Oh, meanwhile, Jetbot has found its way outside from under the, uh, from under the couch. It's avoiding that remote control and it recognizes that this place has all been vacuumed trying to find somewhere else to vacuum. Actually, it's coming to attack the old power bot. Oh, 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 almost collided. It's trying to give it a nudge. It's hoping that it can bring it back to life. It's coming to play with the Rubik's Cube. Nope. It's trying to nudge its friend back to life. All right, buddy. It's time for you to go home. Let's see how you dump your stuff. Returning to the station. All right, let's return to the station. See how this thing gets back to the charging station. It's going. Here it goes. It's backing up. It's going back in there. Or it's just showing off, doing a loop-de-loop. -loop. It recognizes its station's coming up. Let's see how it docks. It's got to do a 360 here. It's emptying the bin now. Sensor's going down.
things out. Okay, so we have the JetBot AI linked in the SmartThings app. And in the SmartThings app, uh, you'll be able to see the JetBot AI and a couple of features that allow it to map and also to monitor your house with its built-in camera. So you can either have it learn the layout just by walking around or create a map while cleaning. So what we'll do is tell it to start drive autonomously and map. And we're gonna have it come out here to see if it can detect a bunch of stuff we've put put on the ground to see if uh, its AI database picks up on any of this. So see if this guy goes straight. It's taking a look around it right now. Let's go straight. And there you can see that the map is being built. And we're gonna send it into, all right, let's see what it does with the keys and the toys here. So right now it's wandering around. And then you'll see over here, it's starting to map out this room. So you can see it's LiDAR kind of just shooting it around and it's positioned relative to its charging station and this room. Right now it's looking around. Let's see what it's going to do. Let's check out the corner there. On the map here you can see it's mapping out the edge of the room. I've put a bunch of stuff on the ground. See if it detects any of these obstacles. So already you can see on the map of the room that its laser has already kind of figured out where the walls are and it can actually find the edge of the wall. And if it does identify things, it'll pop up on the map here. So one cool feature is that we'll be able to take a look at what it's looking at if you tap on the camera, I believe. Yep, there you go. You can see <laughs> it's kind of looking at the wall there by our peloton and you can actually remote control it. So let's turn it around. I'm just going to move over here. I'm on top of the couch now, and uh, let's see if we can't move it towards some of the stuff. Let's make it go straight. What does it think it's seeing? I'm not sure. How about this way? Where are you going, buddy? All right, we turned off the home monitoring again. And it looks like it's going to map somewhere else. Okay, it started wandering to a different room, so I'm bringing it back here. Told it to return back to, back to the dock. So it's going back up the hall here. And what we'll do is we'll pause it for a second here. Okay, there it is. And uh, we're going to see if we can 
start it up. You can check out its settings, size of obstacles to avoid. You can have small, medium, large, um, volume, make it louder, language, have it speak to you in different languages, um, wall cleaning, close to the uh, wall, downtime. So I guess you don't want it in the middle of the night, right? Find the robot vacuum, you can ping it. Over here. Oh, so it just says over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Thank you. Over here. Oh, okay, that's a little obnoxious now. Over here. Over here. So going through our obstacle course now over here. and it's gonna say over here until we push any key on the robot vacuum ping pong ball what's it gonna do it's gonna knock over the ping pong ball sees R2-D2. Okay, you can see the map. Sometimes it identifies some of these obstacles and will actually pop them up on the map as toy, keys. Apparently there's a database of how many objects that Intel's AI system is programmed to recognize. But whether or not it actually knows what it is is somewhat irrelevant as long as it can navigate around it. So it is demonstrating that for the most part it's avoiding these items here. As we made vacuuming in the living room den here a lot more difficult with obstacles on the ground. All right, well, there you have it navigation around the obstacle course only we'll to go befend the peloton over here Right. There you have our Jetbot AI still mapping the house as it cleans. So overall, as our PowerBot, our JetBot AI takes its uh, exit stage left here, it's a good improvement from the prior uh, model that Samsung's put up of uh, robot vacuums. However, it does come with a hefty price tag just because of its new LiDAR integration, um, its stand that has a built-in emptying, self-emptying dustbin, uh, and really 
its uh, benefit is that it's a little smarter and it can navigate a little bit better. It's a little more quiet, but overall still a robot vacuum cleaner. If you can afford it, it's worth the upgrade, but you'll have to look to see whether it's a worthwhile investment for your home needs. Thanks for checking out this review. We'll demonstrate uh, some more in the future of how this has been performing, but hopefully this is a quick tour and a in-house demonstration of the new Samsung JetBot AI Plus uh, robot vacuum available now from a Samsung distributor near you. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments below, ask us questions, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the Chan Clans Tech Talk.